Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to get into building a more complex chair than the one we did in the last video. Now the last video, we extruded a single sketch and then cut it out from there. This one we're going to actually do individual pieces for it, and we're going to then put it all together. So this time I actually took the liberty of finding a photo of a chair online and then dimensioning it myself because the, <laughs> the dimensions on the last video were kind of wonky. Um, granted, mine's not much better, but at least I can, uh, I got the uh, ability to do it, which was fun. So we see here that our overall height is 100 centimeters. We are going to make our legs 6 by 6 centimeters. And I've changed my mind. I don't really want uh, don't really want these guys in the middle. So we're just gonna cut those out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, so we're going to have a 50 centimeter tall leg, and then that leg ends here. And then we're going to assume that this whole portion here is we'll call it a cushion or the seat bottom. And that will be 10 centimeters deep and then the seat back will be 40 centimeters and then we'll have a 10 centimeter depth before um, our first cross here and then we're going to have 10 centimeters in between each one so from here to here will be another 10 centimeters which I think the, the, the uh, these dimensions might make the chair look a bit wonky because I mean my dimensions pretty much have no basis I just kind of went with numbers that looked nice but I think that it will look at least somewhat like a chair which will be nice and then I can show you guys how to scale this down so that we can 3d print this our own chair that we designed on our mantis 3d printer which I think is pretty neat so let's get into it first we're gonna make our legs so we're in our uh, brand new sketch here we're going to click on create sketch and then we're going to select the plane that we want it doesn't really matter at this point now we're going to hit S and then we're going to choose our center rectangle we love that thing and then what dimensions did we want we wanted 6 by 6 for the legs so we'll do that oh our units are in millimeters so to change that we'll hit escape we'll go up to document settings here click that little drop down arrow and then we'll click on our units and change active units to centimeters now when we press s and choose our center rectangle you'll see that we have centimeters which is nice so let's type in six hit tab six and then hit enter now to extrude this we're going to press Q and click on the face here and then we can extrude this to 50 I believe right yeah 50 now we'd have to scroll all the way out if we wanted to drag it up but we're just going to type in 50 instead which will be easy and press enter and then we can scroll out and actually see it Ta-da! looks exactly like the image right it's beautiful so what we're going to do now is we want a peg on the top of it so that it can interlock with the cushion and that peg we will print or um my goodness that peg since the cushion itself will be 10 centimeters deep we're going to make that half of it so we're going to go and click create our sketch and then click on the top here we'll go to a center diameter circle you could press C or you could press S and use your toolbox to get to it or you could press C and just have it immediately there's so many options for these things so I will always be posting down here um, on the bottom left hand corner the command that I am using so that you guys can see it because um, I will be switching between using different ones depending on what I'm doing so we're going to click on the center here and we'll make this three centimeters press enter got our nice little circle so now we're going to want to extrude that so it looks like something press Q and then click on our little circle we're gonna bring it up to five centimeters and then we're going to press enter Wow 
Look at that. A perfect chair leg. <laughs> so, before we say this is it, I want to chamfer it. Or not chamfer it. My bad. Fillet it. I want to make it look kind of rounded off and smooth. You know, just make it a little bit nicer looking. So, we're going to press F. And then we're going to select our four corners. Oh, and by the way, to orbit is shift and middle click. And then to pan like this is just middle click. So we're going to select our corners. Good. And then we can make our fillet. We'll make our radius one centimeter. That looks pretty good. Let's make it three. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, <laughs> it just turned into a rod. <laughs> wow, that's kind of funny. What's two look like? A lot better. Yeah, I think we'll keep it at one. I think that looks pretty good. We'll press A-OK. -okay. And now we've got a nice chair leg. Pretty uniform, nice. I like that. Um, so, you know what? Let's change the material type. Make it look like wood. So we're going to go up to the modify section here and go down to appearance. Now we want to look at downloadable materials. So let's see. We want wood. Um, What's this look like? I have no clue what kind of wood that would be. It's very dark. Might even be painted. So we'll just do cherry. Everybody likes cherry, right? And we'll drag it up here. Now that we've dragged our cherry up here, we're going to drag this cherry and just drop it right on our body here. Oh, that looks pretty snazzy. That's a lot darker than <laughs> this. looks so much lighter than that. That's kind of funny. All right, so now what we'll do in the next video is design our cushion. And then the video after that, we will design the back to the chair. And then finally, we'll be able to assemble it all and then print it by scaling it down in Fusion 360 and then going to our Mantis 3D printer's interface and use it. And the great thing about the Mantis is that you don't have to fiddle with the settings when you when you get it it's completely pre-configured it's built so no hassle that allows us to spend more time creating awesome things rather than worrying about tinkering with fine-tuning little settings so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it or if it helped you out please like and comment and subscribe you know let me know if what I'm doing right let me know what you guys want to see alright Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button and we'll see you next time.